Okay, welcome back. I'm Sam, also known as GamerGod52, and we have a special guest that isn't the other host, Tyler. Hello. Hello. And who are you, little girl? Uh, hi there. I'm Almageddon. I'm Sam's girlfriend, but, uh, I also like video games. Oh, that's very good. I like video games, too. Um, as you can relationships, see... Relationships, it works. <laughs> yes, relationships, it works. But it's not going to work between these two, clearly. It's got a gun right to her head, and she's just filing her nails like it's every day. Um, <laughs> that's me in this relationship. Relationship <laughs> works! It's like, hey, I'm going to do some wacky shit, and you're just like... Yeah, I'm just gonna file my nails. This is what I'm pretty much used to this shit. I just realized there's a hole in the, the butt of his gun. The, why, where? why is that? And the shotgun he's carrying. Oh. Why, oh. Is that a thing? Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. The Maybe it's just for weight. Like uh, er ergonomics. That makes sense. Ergonomics. <clears throat> where do we leave off? Okay, so we are playing The Evil Within. It is a, uh,. Game created from the mind of Shinji Mikami, who created Resident Evil. And this is a game that I would call like a mashup of uh, Resident Evil and Silent Hill and a lot of other horror things that just really work fucking amazingly. And we're on chapter 7. I know that's a little bit odd to be a, a start a game like deep in the game, but we did not want to start over. And this is actually a good place to start. This chapter is called The Keeper. And The Keeper is a, a creature who apparently, I, I don't think he'll be very easy to kill. He's like one of the big baddies of the game. All the trailers and stuff had him. He's like some weird fucking monster with a safe for a head. It reminds me of like a pyramid head kind of thing if you played uh, uh, Silent Hill. And uh, we're just going to be, like, quickly refreshing ourselves with kind of how the game works. And this chair right here that so lovely straps you in and fucks you up forever gives you uh, the opportunity to upgrade. And you do it by using the uh, the currency of the game, which is, what, what is it, gels? Like brain juice, I call brain it? Goop. Yeah, brain goopity goop. Uh, uh, brain juice will give you everything you need in life. So, I have 12,000 and things in the game are starting to cost a lot more. As you get up in the levels, they're just, you know, they exponentially increase, that's fine. I, If I recall correctly, I wasn't going to upgrade anything. That's a something, you, know, you have to decide for yourself what you want to do. I always have a little bit of a, a struggle deciding what's best. Because it's like, at, at a certain point in the game, it's not whether or not you have like an extra, you know, second or so of sprint time or whatever it may be, or melee damage. Like that's not gonna make or break it. But overall, it doesn't it, it, like help you out. So I'm just gonna save it for now because I don't know where I stand. I forget. So you don't have to use it. It's better off for me to save it right now. I thought that was static, like, in the game, but... No, nah, it's, it's just it's, particle yeah, effects. it's like dust. Yeah, it's so... This game is beautiful. Like, it's, it's like, r perfect for the, the style of... of what they're going for. It... I don't like how it's super up close, but that also is part of the style. I just wish it was a little further back. Like, when you're running, like, you could see a little more of him. I think it's also the sanctuaries, just like this. And that is the place we're in. We're in this place... And we haven't introduced the main character. His name is Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos. <laughs> and uh, he is a detective for the Crimson City Police Force or Department Crimson or whatever. Crimson with a K. Yeah, it's Crimson with a K, like Mortal Kombat, because they're cool. <laughs> and you could save here. Whenever you're throughout the game, you see like a mirror somewhere and this music will play. It's really pretty. I forget the name of his song, but it's like a, a famous like song. And uh, you just get sucked into a mirror and get you, you get taken here and you can save. And, and see some other cool stuff. Oh. Like, 
Now yeah. I don't remember where we are. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. We're down like in some kind of crypty fucking tomb. See that's the thing. You're in that sanctuary and you forget where you fucking are in life, and then you realize that this is all you know, all a fucking pipe dream, and you're really in the depths of hell. Like look at this. This sucks. Any door that or any area that will have a sanctuary will have this lighthouse, which represents the asylum, which is the sanctuary. Coincidentally, you know, an insane asylum is asylum or sanctuary. So... This still reminds me of Resident Evil 4. So, yeah, I have to figure out where the fuck to go. If I recall, he was down there. Yep. This reminds me of, like... Alien vs. Predator, when they're in a pyramid. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like... Fuck the, that the, movie. <laughs> the whole, like, Aztec or whatever the fuck it was, Mayan. I don't fucking know. But After seeing Alien for the first time, fuck that movie. I haven't seen Predator yet, but... Fuck what? AVP. Oh, you mean Alien vs. Predator? I thought you were saying fuck Alien, like... No, I fucking love Alien. That shit, yeah. actually. Alien mm, like, Alien. managed to scare me. Yeah, wasn't it? Oh, my God. Look at this shit. This is not a good place for a detective. I mean, I guess it is, cause since there's plenty of, you know, shit for him to figure out. But I'm pretty sure it's obvious what's going on here. I'm screwed. Can we touch that? You can touch whatever you want. But anyways, I have a tablet. It fits. It fits. Thank you. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen from that. Oh, okay, so we need to find two more. Yeah, I guess th these fucking trials and tribulations will give... Maybe you can pick which way to go. Yeah, of course you can. Looks like poison gas. It's purple. It gives it away. It's a gamer thing. But everything Pokemon. in this game wants to kill you. Just reminds me of Pokemon. What the... Oh, some fucking uh, syringes. You heal by shoving a syringe needle into your arm. Please don't try that at home. It won't we do work. not condone any use of any hard drugs. Or soft. Soft core drugs. <laughs> what would soft core drugs be? Pot? Recreational. <laughs> well, any drug can be recreational. Sure. If, if used enough. If used properly. Don't fuck up your life is what I'm saying. That's not good. <gasps> I thought the ray of light was like the trip wire. You see, like it like shown across. You know, okay. There's oh, okay. there's trip wires in. Oh my, oh my fucking god. god! There's trip wires in this game. There's one down there. Or if you just walk past, like walk into it. No, so that's thin. a bomb. That's not a trip wire. Well, you know what I mean. It's something that will explode and kill you. Oh, what the fuck? This is this is fucking horrifying. These, these guys, the, the two-headed one, kind of reminds me of the zombies, the parasite zombies from The Last of Us. Oh, yeah. Uh, they just have <clears throat> the mushroom just just blown out into their face. Yeah, like the, the fungus. I forget what the name of it is. Me too. But whatever. Granted, I haven't played it, but... Oh, my God. It's really interesting. Like the inspiration for the monsters, like based off the real fungus thing. Oh yeah, I, I always find monster there. creation really interesting. Like I want, I've never looked up the monster design for this game or seen like an interview on it. You would think after having so much time of just playing this, we would oh, um, do some research on it. You know. No, nah, we kind of are trying to keep it spoiler free, which is very hard. In That's a, very true. In a day, a day and age where you can look up everything, see walkthroughs, la let's plays, uh, and such, I'm struggling here to figure out how to fucking open this flashy thing. I don't know. Break it. That didn't work. He's kicking the wrong way. I don't fucking know. Can you shoot it? I can try. Thank yes, you. thank you. When in doubt, just shoot shit. I learned that from Dante. Double make right. So, I, um... That's another... action game. Um, so anyways, uh... 
comment, like, and subscribe. We're at the end of our time for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. We will continue playing this game, and we've just really gotten into it. I know we uh, spent uh, too much time bullshitting, but uh, <laughs> we'll get really down and into it, and it's going to get fucking scary, I can already tell. And uh, thank you again, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hi, everyone. I wonder if that guy's gonna come to life on us. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram. Check out our other awesome videos in the description below. And see you next time on Guillotine Gaming. Peace. <laughs>